Today, online classes are going on everywhere and teachers are working very hard for it. And students are also taking this new generation teaching with great interest. But both teachers and students are facing some problem. Teachers are facing problem in evaluating their students and students are facing problem evaluating themselves. So here is the solution. Watch the video till the end and your problem will be solved. Here teachers have to do the main part and the students part is very easy. Here I will discuss step by step and it will be very easy for you to understand. First I will tell you how to do in computer or PC laptop. After that I will show you how to do it in mobile. Both the process are same. So let's start. First of all open your chrome browser and log in to your gmail account. After opening gmail on the right hand top corner you can see these 9 dots. Just press that and there you can see many options like YouTube, uh, Play, Gmail, Drive, all these things. Just scroll down and there you will find an option that docs. You have to press that and a new page will open. After opening the page, you can see three lines on the left top corner. Okay, there you will find a option, fourth option, forms. You just click this. Click the option form. A new page will open. So, here you have to choose the blank option. So, choose the blank document here and you will get a page like this. So, this is the page where teacher have to set all the informations and also the questions for the students. So, from here you can see that there is a written untitled question. So, from here we can give the questions but before that we will take the information of our students. So, we will write here the first question, write your name. After we write the question on the right hand side, we can see that there are some drop downs are there. We have to select the short answer from there. There are many other drop downs. We will discuss it later. Okay, it will automatically change to that. If it don't change, we have to change it to short answers. And students will write the answer here. So, here is a option. You can see required. We have to put this option on. This means this is a compulsory question and student have to attempt this or they have to write this. This is compulsory for them. Every question, whatever is compulsory, we should put this on. Now here you can see a duplicate option. If we press that, a second question will open. So here we will write, ask the student about the class. So name, class, section, role like that. Okay. So here I am asking the class. So class, here again it is short question. They will write class 6, 7, 8 or 9, whatever it is. After that, I am again making another question. So, duplicate. Now, we will uh, add here section. Now, section. We can select from here the drop down and select drop downs. Okay. Drop down. So, here we will get options. As we select this drop down, we will select option. We can write here A, B, C, D like that okay so one by one we can put it so i have add here section a b c d if you have many other sections you can also add like that now again duplicate and i will write here role now this i will change this drop down to short answers okay so and here you can see that three dots are there okay if we press that there will be option come response validation okay so how they can response it only by digit or only by letter you can select it so roll number we need only numerics or digits so we can change it like that and in the uh, write your name we can also change it to only the text they can also write only the text if we don't select anything they can write both text and alphabets so after doing this on the top you can see untitled form it is written we can do also do it in the beginning so i am showing it here you can write here online test okay and uh, under that we can also write um, whatever history physics chemistry uh, computer whatever test we are taking we can write like that. i am just writing computer test and i am just giving the date so this part we can also do it in the beginning before writing this name class section all these things so whatever you like you can do that 
so this is the information taking part so after doing this we have to scroll down at the bottom after that we have to place here see two lines are there so this is the add section option just press it and we will get a new section like this so here we can write your test uh, starts here or test start from here okay and then we can write whatever it is in this description mcq question 50 mcq computer question history geography whatever is your subject you are taking you can write like this so here you can get this add question option okay just press it and a new question tab will open you just now write your question so i am just writing some random questions here you just look it uh, how to write the questions so at first i am uh, writing a question this is a input device okay now i am putting the options here first one i am writing the mouse uh, then keyboard speaker monitor i am writing the options here later on i will add the answer in it i will show it how to do it after writing the question i will select from uh, this drop down multiple choice question okay okay after completing this question one i will make a duplicate of it by pressing the duplicate option and the second option will come here we will write another question with multiple choice uh, answers so here i am writing 1 kb is equal to how many bytes and putting the option like this 100 uh, 1124 and 500 uh, sorry 1500 whatever it is you can give of your own choice after that i will make the third question so again uh, this duplicate one and again i will get another option for writing the question here i will write another question okay so i have given an option here question here ic is made up of and given the question transistor transformer uh, microprocessor vacuum tube etc okay now now after completing the questions on the top you will see this setting option okay and uh, there are some options so you have to select this option quizzes and have to click this option on make this a quiz okay and save it make this a quiz here is also two options uh, immediately after each submission student can check their result or you can send them manually okay so i have uh, kept this option on immediately after submission okay and here are some options you can uh, check it out and click the option save after doing this after and returning back to the question you can see there you, uh, this option answer key has come okay so answer key so we have to write the answer of the questions now okay so uh, this is a input de device so which is the input device in this option so mouse is the input answer we just click it and after that we will set the point how much point we want to give so i have given here one point okay so each question carries one point next in the same way in the second option which one is the answer is 1024 is the answer i have selected that and i have given it one point okay then done in the same way the third one the answer is transistor so i have selected this transistor and given one point to it and then done okay and every option i have put this required option on that means that is compulsory that means students cannot skip that question okay they have to give that question see after completing all the question again we come to the setting part there are some options are there general um, preference and quizzes okay in the preference you can see uh, some status bar or there you can tick that according to your choice okay whatever you want to show to your teacher just read it and tick it and check out it okay but here in the general option you can see a option that collect email address so you should tick it out okay don't select it because if you select it students have to give their email ids and many students don't have their email id so better not to tick it and tick out all the options in this general tab after that save it and close the window now after completing all these things teachers should check uh, once again that everything is okay or not okay for this we have to see the preview for this you can see this i option here just press it and a page will open okay so let's give a demo test so just I am writing any name, Somia, Sen or any whatever, then class, I am writing the class 9 or then giving the section. So students will do like this. 
okay they will get the option like this then in roll number i am placing giving my roll number and then press next and the uh, next page will open here we will get the questions whichever we have set so first one see this is a input device i have written given your speaker intentionally i have given it wrong then second one is i have given right 1024 and third one is transaction okay let's see so we have given the test okay let's check our score so see these are all the things i have got two out of three okay i have got my score and also you can see here whatever we have done the wrong and which is the right answer so this is a very good system for students and teachers also so after completing and checking all these things we have to send it to our student for giving the exam so you can find here the send option here okay so just press it we can mail it to the students individually or better we can uh, put the, give the link to the student in the whatsapp so for whatsapp this we have to link this middle one click this middle option okay we will get a link here we have to copy this link okay the link is quite big larger okay so we have to press this option make the link shorter as soon as we press it the link will get shorter we will cl uh, copy it and we will send it to our whatsapp group students whatsapp group okay so how to open the whatsapp in our computer if you don't know you just comment in our uh, comment box i will make a, an, another video for that so i am pasting the link here in the whatsapp group and i am sending it okay then we'll uh, click that link they will get this page they will write their name class section all these things and they will answer the question whatever we have given to them now teachers have given the questions students have answered that all the things are all right okay but how to keep the records of the students okay for that here here you will get a option that is response okay if you click that op option response a new page will open there you can see all the activities of your students we can also uh, send this to a excel sheet by pressing this green option okay see there is a gr this green option you can transfer all the record to a excel sheet now create option you can see there the two student has given the exam and they have scored two out of three okay and also all the details are given which they have uh, which question they have done wrong and right and see it has been transferred to the excel sheet okay we can keep it save it in our computer in a pdf form also if you don't know how to save this in your computer i will make a separate video for that you can request it in the comment box so it's a very good thing no need to check the copies answer uh, everything will be done automatically once make the question paper and everything is set now there are some more options here like themes and all these things you can uh, check it off your own you can change the color of your uh, online test whatever it is you can also change some special notes to them okay like thank you for uh, giving the exam all these things you can check it off your own and another important thing is that we can also add some pictures also in the questions okay whenever we are making the questions we can uh, take any picture from our books or whatever we like in maths like that but so we can also take the picture from our um, phone or whatever it is and we can also put it here see like this and we can set question on this picture also after teachers have given the question to the students, students will take some time to answer it. And if teacher wants to see uh, what their students about their students' performance later, what they have to do, they have to again open their Gmail, again click that nine dots and go to that form option. Okay, whenever we go to that form option, we can see the questions below here what we have made previously. Okay, so click the forms, what which which one we want to open, and we'll get that all the options there we will find the response options again we can click it and we can check our students performance not only mcq questions we can also set here fill in the blanks and question answers also let's see how we can do that as for example i have opened another form and written here online exam uh, exam english exam okay so we can uh, give some exam question now we uh, set some question so in the first here i am writing here write a letter to the principal about something okay dot 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 i am giving here so student will answer that and in the right hand side we will uh, change this to paragraph okay 
we will find the paragraph option and we will select here next question uh, i am writing a defined question here so let's write um, whatever you can write here uh, where did vinod live and from the right hand side we will uh, select the short answer question okay so after setting the question we have to give your marks so uh, here again we will go to the setting on the top and there we will select this quiz option okay and we will make this option on okay and uh, here the thing is that you have to select this option later after manual review because these are not mcq questions and we can't give a perfect answer uh, to each question here so we will check it manually and give the mar marks to the students manually but if we select this option then uh, we have to send the marks individually in the email address so automatically this option will be selected so students have to give their email address for uh, giving exam like this next click the option save and exit now come here again uh, in the questions now set marks let give uh, here uh, for the letter writing let's give here 10 marks okay and in this uh, second question where did we not leave let's give here two marks okay and also make all the uh, questions required okay now here i am setting here two marks okay now done now let's see how the form looks like okay how the students will give the exam so click in this i button here okay now see email address is required here so students will give the email address here their own email address ne then next i got the question here write a letter up, uh, to the principal about this so student will write start writing the letter from here to the principal like this dot 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 whatever they want to write they will write it here they can also uh, add lines paragraphs etc coming to the next question where did we not leave uh, i am uh, writing here japan okay whatever i am writing so then after that we submit it now here students will not get the marks okay teacher will uh, see what they have written and send the marks to them in their email address okay now how teachers will give the marks now in coming to the questions here, again in this response t tab teacher will see the performance of the teacher see what the students have written it is showing here now questions and here individual we have to click the individual option teachers will click this individual option and here your teacher will give the marks see coming down here i am giving the marks of this question here i am giving 2 out of 2 and here mm, 9 out of 10 8 out of 10 okay after that we can also give here some personal notes uh, any mistake is there we can write it here uh, spelling mistake or anything we can write it here in every questions whatever mistakes have done by the students and here we can write yes very good yes after that save it and now it's time to send the marks to the student so here we will click here send marks and we will click this option and a mail will go to the student now see a mail has received in the student's mail and here student can see their score and in this view option he or she can see what mistake or whatever he has done and what notes has been given by the teacher he or she student can see it here so this is all about how teacher can set the questions rather other than mcq and how students can give the exam in the same way we can also do all these things in our mobile also just find that option and fill up the form and it is totally free for teachers and students so both of us can enjoy it but here is a drawback in this online test that we can't find that whether a student is cheating or not. For that, we have to rely both on our students and parents. But teachers believe that students will also not break their faith. 
so if any student is watching this video can teachers rely on you please comment in the comment section and let us know and teachers please hit the like button if the video is little bit informative and it is useful for you thank you for watching the video subscribe our channel to get more informative videos on art and craft technology and students and teachers hack which make their life beautiful thank you